This video will demonstrate the installation, initial configuration, profiles and update of the handheld companion application. The installation file can be downloaded from the GitHub project page on the release page. At the top you will always find the most recent version. The release type is recommended for most users. There is also an offline type available, which will not require an active internet connection during the installation to download additional files. Start and complete the installation by opening the file and clicking through the dialogs. To make sure the gamepad drivers are properly installed, reboot your device at the end of the process. After installing Handheld Companion, it is recommended to configure several settings, such as hotkeys and preferred startup options. There are many functions which can be triggered through hotkeys, such as the 3D controller overlay, virtual touchpads and quick tools. Hotkeys can be configured by clicking the Define Input button and pressing your preferred gamepad, device special key or keyboard button or button combination. The hotkey can be defined as a short click or a long press. Certain buttons are pre-configured as a hold and remain active while holding the input button. On the settings page, the application's startup settings, theme and other options can be configured. Handheld Companion features a profile system to have specific settings automatically apply when the application in focus matches a profile. There are two ways to create a profile. The first is to click the Create New Profile button in the main GUI profile page and then locate and select the desired application's executable file. Once the profile has been created, Specific settings such as TDP and Universal Motion Control can be defined. The second way to create a profile is to have the desired application running, open Quick Tools, check if the detected active process matches the desired application and click the Create New Profile button. Checking for an update and updating can be done from within the application itself on the settings page. When a new release is available, the change log and the installation file list is shown. Click the Install Now button to download the update and begin the process. Click through dialogs to complete the update. 